Hello everyone, my name is Anton, and in this video I want to get into Heptabase on mobile. A new feature recently came out today. This has been updated to support the whiteboard and, and doing actual functions on the whiteboard on mobile. Previously, um, Heptabase could be leveraged on multiple devices, but you can only edit whiteboards on a desktop and within the browser. Now, I, I think this is really starting to, to get interesting where Help the Base is now available on mobile. I'm on a, an iPad right now, and I also have an iPhone that I can show as well. So I'll bring that up later. But this here is on an iPad. Let's go to the version just to see what version I'm, I'm rocking right now. So I have version 1.17.0.3 and I just updated this minutes ago. I haven't really played with it as much as I probably should have before I did the video, but I was really excited to get something out here. So let's go into a whiteboard here and right off the bat, this is all you could really do before is Go into the whiteboard, you can double click, you can open up stuff and kind of view the information of each of the cards that were on the, the whiteboard. But now when you select it, take a look here. If we look here at the bottom center, you can see that there is now a little menu bar that gives you options of what you can do with these, these objects that are sitting on the whiteboard. You can also, with touch, if I come and grab the bottom here, so if I get it in the right place, I can actually change the size of the object here as well. So that's pretty nice. So we can select it. We get different options. If I want to go ahead and change it so that it fills up what's in that document, I can do that. I can collapse the, the object. <coughs> just like you could on the desktop. I'll go ahead and expand it out. I can go ahead and change colors of these objects within here. That is looking really nice. I can delete the object if I want it to from here. And then I can come in here and you can see it has an edit where now there's a prompt on the inside there where I can start typing in here as well, right on the whiteboard. Instead of having to open it up in that other panel, and then doing any edits from there. So this is a nice upgrade to have here right now. Um, kind of excited here. So, and you can do the same thing with some of the other ones here where like I'm on, I have another dashboard here. It gives you the option to open it or change the color right there, or you can delete it. I got these here and the other objects pretty much give you the same functionality that you could with this one text document here or this one card. <coughs> There's one card here and yeah, it's pretty. Let's see about, oh, even with, um, oh, this is really nice here. Okay, so we can even manipulate and edit the, the mind maps that are here. Here, I can type, but yeah, this is bringing over some of the some of the um, functionality or most of the functionality from uh, the the desktop version of this here. And so this is this is really nice. I'm loving this here. Let's see if we can expand that one out. Yep, expand that one. And I can right click on here too. So I have the, the magic keyboard attached to this, um, to this uh, iPad. And we can even right click on here. We have different options that we can do. Now this gets very interesting where it has export options. So I wonder if I was to come in here and do an export, that actually works. So it did not do anything. So I'm not sure that they all work. Export and markdown. 
that does nothing. So some of these features here still are still a work in progress. Now, let me go ahead, open sidebar. That does not open, open in a pop-up. So it seems like nothing from this, I'm doing the, the change here, let me see. Okay, so the colors do work. Colors work, if I wanna draw a connection, bam, I can do a connection. So some of these things do work, some, some of them do not. If I wanna show, yeah, so it's, double click on there so the side pane still opens full they don't have it doesn't open partial yet where it just opens up a side window there to where you can see the whiteboard and the side pane but you can see where this is going they're starting to bring over the full functionality of what you can get on the desktop so right now it's pretty basic you can expand you can edit the actual card, the text within the card. You can say shrink it or expand it, change the color. And you see if I hit the X, I can go ahead and delete it and remove it off of the um, the whiteboard. And, and that and that one has just removed it from the whiteboard. You saw that there's another trash can option here to actually trash it permanently. Um, yeah, so this is pretty nice. Let me see if there's any do or undo type options. Yep, so you can undo things as well. So it's, this is actually pretty nice. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. And yeah, this might actually bring me back to help the base. To, so I'll start using it more. I've started leveraging my mobile devices, um, my tablet devices a lot more. When I'm on the go instead of lugging around my my MacBook Pro and I really just heavily kept using Obsidian and all of the features there with the Skeledraw but from a visual note-taking perspective I really do like Heptabase's way of doing things over Excaladraw. not knocking Excaladraw. it's it's very capable of doing just about everything that I wanted to do. It's just the the aesthetics of it looks a bit more pleasing in Heptabase. And yeah, this is this is a really good update. Yeah, before I go, I wanted to show this on an iPhone as well. So let's bring up an iPhone here. Log on to my iPhone. Let's switch our screen over here so we can see the iPhone. And yeah, so I got the iPhone here side by side with the iPad. And what what I've noticed here so far is you can open up the whiteboards and go in the whiteboard. I can see, let me pick the same one that I have on the other side. So I have this whiteboard here. And if I come in here and I change the colors on, say, this one whiteboard to red, you can see how it syncs and it updates very fast to the iPhone uh, from the iPad device. So sync works really well here. And if I was to, let me say collapse that, you see that collapses. So everything that you can do, say on the, the iPad right now, you can do on the iPhone. You still get the options here down at the bottom where you can change these, you can expand that out. You can come in here and you can edit edit this here Let's see change the keyboard there so I can swipe give it right all right so that is editing everything over there and you see you get the the actual keyboard options or the shortcut options there above the keyboard of what you can do where you got the slash command so you can change the different formatting for everything everything is here and it yeah it this is this is great i wish that they would have had this in the beginning um, i was a bit disappointed when i originally downloaded the mobile applications where all you could do really do was read or go directly into a card and edit cards but the reason why you would use have the base is because you want to use the the huge whiteboard, the canvas, 
um, and it really limits you in doing that. So this is a great update and I can't wait to see what else comes out here when they release these things. When I find out, I will definitely do another video and put that out there so you guys can know what's going on with Heptabase on mobile or desktop or web wherever. If you like the content on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.